always knew I was gonna be well. On the run, we are out here in Belgium, and we are with the La Familia, Sebastian and Federica Didi. <laughs> en direct de la voiture, en direct du Benzo, on va en direction de Belgique. Il y a 4 heures de route et c'est le feu. J'ai la chance d'être avec Austin. Oh. Et c'est vraiment le feu. On va aller voir ce que les Belges ont dans le ventre. C'est super, c'est de la balle. Ouh. On est chaud. Là, go. Eh sì, ieri eravamo a Parigi, c'erano due eventi con 300 persone e oggi andiamo a Bruxelles e ci, so, ci saranno 500 persone a, a ogni due eventi. Veramente troppo, troppo bello. Uh. So, I don't understand what they just said, but that was Italian and French, now English. But today's episode is going to hurt some feelings. So go grab the tissues, pause it, compose yourself. Take a big deep breath because today we're going to talk about auto ships. So, I find it fascinating that, you know, we're involved in the industry of network marketing where we have these things called auto ships and subscriptions where you pay a monthly auto ship for your company, for your products. And, you know, oftentimes people make the excuse of, Austin, I can't, I can't get the money from my auto ship. Austin, I can't pay my subscription this month. It's $150, it's $200, it's $100, whatever it is. People always make the excuse. And, you know, excuses only sound best at the person making them. But what fascinates me is that we have auto ships in real life. We have things that we pay for every single month. Cell phone bills, car payments, car insurance, gym memberships, Netflix, people pay for rent uh, their bills their rent exactly so what fascinates me is that people invest so much money into liabilities into things that don't produce an ROI a return on investment they don't invest in assets right they spend their money in so many different ways to where it's not coming back and doing anything for them so for example I found this article the other day that I was reading and it talked about how the average American spends a hundred and ninety dollars a month on fast food eighty five dollars a month on clothes four hundred dollars a year in gambling one out of every one hundred dollars is on alcohol twenty five dollars on average on cable on television watching somebody else tell their vision eighty five dollars a month on coffee stop drinking that caffeine is not good for you fourteen percent of people's income on average are on cigarettes. But the average American spends less than $20 per year on books. So, at the end of the day, you really gotta reevaluate yourself. You gotta become self-aware of where your money's going. It's never a lack of money, it's a lack of organization and understanding where your money's going to. So most people, they make the excuse that they don't have money. Well, number one, never let the lack of money inhibit you from making more money. First of all, you could literally go out there and go to your local grocery store, your local Costco, your local whatever. You could go buy bulk water bottles for $5 for what, 24, 36 water bottles. Get your ass out there, go on the streets, go to your local shopping centers, your local festivals, wait outside of the clubs at night when people are drunk as hell and they wanna hydrate themselves and they wanna get some water bottles and sell the water bottles for $1 per bottle. If you buy a pack of water bottles for 24 water bottles for $5 and you sell each water bottle for $1, you just made, what is that, $19 profit? Do that for a month straight, 19, 20, 30, that's what? That's, that's like, oh, that's like a, what, what is that? 600 bucks. 600 bucks! I'm terrible at math. You don't gotta be smart to make a lot of money. <laughs> but understand, that you need to reevaluate your auto ships in life. A lot of people spend auto ships in the wrong places. I see my friends, they always talk about, dude, I'm so broke. Well, not really my friends anymore, but my old homies, my old friends, I'll complain about how broke they are, they don't have any money, they don't have any um, means to, you know, they, they have more month at the end of their money than more money at the end of their month, make sense? So they spend more money on things like weed. People smoke marijuana, and they will make the excuse they have no money, but they're getting high instead of getting their bank account high. People go out there, they spend money on partying every weekend. They go to Taco Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, Wasting Wednesday. I used to be the guy, and I'm I'm not the one, you know, I'm not the pot calling the kettle black, right? I'm the person who used to do these dumb things, and I realize my mistakes, right? They say that smart people, 
they learn from other people's mistakes. You know, that's what I want you guys to do. Learn from where I made my stupid mistakes, my failures. And I used to be the person that, come Friday, I would make my paycheck. And by Monday, my paycheck was gone. Because the whole weekend, I would party, I would go out, I buy a new pair of sneakers. You know what's funny? Most people talk about, I don't have 200 bucks to start a business. What did Big Sean say? He said, uh, what is that one line he said? He said, he said, uh, he said, he said, while you're starting up a new car, I'm starting up a business or something, something like that, right? So while most people are out there trying to fit in the scene, look, most people try to look successful instead of be successful, right? So I would rather look poor and be rich than try to look rich and be poor. So most people are wearing more money on their feet, a new pair of Jordans, a new pair of Yeezys. It's, it's mind blowing to me that people spend money on things that won't yield them any return on investment and they wonder why they're broke. So I used to live on the honey bun effect, the honey bun effect. That's where you get paid Friday, you party all weekend, you spend all your money, come Monday, you go back to work, you clock in and come lunchtime, you have no money except to buy honey buns, right? That was my lifestyle, the honey bun. But most people are out there spending money on things that aren't making them money. So cut out the bullshit. Stop spending money on clothes. Stop spending money on cigarettes. Stop spending money on going out to eat. You know, people will go out there and they'll spend they'll spend fifteen dollars on sushi, right? I love sushi. Sushi's good, but sushi's not gonna make you successful. You eat the sushi finish it, full stomach, you go home, you go to sleep, you wake up the next morning, it's gone. Invest in new things that create an ROI. Be in the producer mindset, not the consumer mindset. So stop making excuses that you don't have money for your business, that you don't have money for your ownership, you don't have money for your subscription, you don't have money to invest into other things. Start to invest your money wisely. They say that um, the average person, they save their money and spend what's left. But the wise people, the successful people, the wealthy people, they invest all of their money and then they save what's left. Be in that kind of mindset. Stop spending money where it doesn't need to go. You know what's fascinating to me? Everybody has 10 friends they can party with, but not one friend they can do business with. Start surrounding yourself with people who understand these concepts. You are the average of the five people that you hang out with, right? So people make the excuse, I don't have the $150 this month. Yes, you do. Go sell something. I know people in my business and in, in this industry who have sold blood plasma to get involved in the company or pay their auto ship. And now they're a six-figure earner. Wow, crazy, right? No. You got to go out there and make it happen by any means possible. I know people who have sold their bed springs, people who have sold... There, there was a kid in Mexico who came out to me after an event, and he said, I have no money, Austin. What do I do? I said, well, you do have money. What do you have? Do you have an Xbox? Do you have a PlayStation? Xbox is... I call it a broke box. It's not making you any money, right? Most people spend $10 per month on Netflix when they could take that $10 and invest it into two books. Go to a used bookstore and buy a used book. I'm telling you. You know what's crazy? 400 million fidget spinners were sold within five months in 2017. 400 million. They cost $5, $10, $20. People spend money on fidget spinners and they won't spend $5 on a book. Made in America by Sam Walton. One of the wealthiest businessmen to ever survive or to ever live, I should rather say. He's alive now rest in peace but he created the company called Walmart a monopoly basically a multi multi billion dollar company possibly will maybe go on to become one of the first trillion dollar companies ever in history and on his deathbed he laid out all of the secrets all of the clues all of the information all of the nuggets all of the 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 ways he became successful he put it all into a book on his deathbed before he died. He even said he didn't want to write the book, but he felt he needed to to do his um, to do his duty to the world, to give back to the world and, and share his secrets. The book is five dollars. Have you read the book? Do you have the book? If you don't, look at things in your life. How much does your t-shirt cost you? What about the chains on your neck? What about your watch? What about the, the pack of cigarettes in your pocket? What about the weed you just, the, the last blunt you just smoked? 
people spend people people smoke a, 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 a joint or a blunt. I'm just being real with you. People drink a drink, grab a beer, grab a coffee, and if you would just not buy that coffee or not smoke that blunt and buy a book, that is the book that could change your life and double your income, triple your income, quadruple your income. Just four years ago, homeless, living in my car, I didn't graduate high school, the best job I ever had was working at McDonald's. But I started buying books. Guess what I did? I literally took, I took my TV, I sold it. I used to be nationally ranked in Madden. I was number 84 in the world in Madden Online. I know it's cool, oh, you're awesome. I was 84th in the world in Madden. I was a nerd, I was a geek, I loved video games. The second that I came across mentors and I found my direction in life, the second that I had my vehicle, I literally sold my Xbox the same week. And I was like literally in love with video games. But I realized my, my Xbox was not making me money. It was not gonna retire my parents. What's more important to you? Retiring your fucking parents or playing video games all the time? What's more important to you? Smoking your nicotine or creating generational wealth for your future children? You know what's crazy? People think I'm crazy. I think it's crazy that people go out there, they do the same thing over, 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 over again and expect a different result. That's a definition of insanity. So start to look at where your expenses are going. It's not that you don't make enough money. Bullshit. There are people in India, we're out here traveling all across the world, we're in Belgium right now, we just came from Paris, Spain, uh, we've been all over London, all over Europe, and um, I live in Mexico, and down there in Mexico, people don't have it, like some of you watching the video have it, there are people there that work 10 hours per day and make $10 per day, but they don't make excuses, they still figure out a way to get it done, my roommate, Fernando, he went from literally being homeless last year, making a couple hundred bucks per month. Um, he used to work like out in the fields, like picking picking cherries and picking strawberries. Like that's where he was a year or two ago. My best friend, uh, David Morris, just a couple years ago, he was, you know Shia LaBeouf, you know, digging the holes? That was David, digging holes for eight bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour. And now look, both of them are six figure earners. Why? Because not they got lucky, they shifted their mindset. They started buying books. They started investing into looking professional. They started investing into events. Take that money. Buy yourself a freaking plane ticket. Go to a seminar. Go to a conference where there's successful, wealthy people. Or whatever it is you're looking for out of life. You want to go be happy? Awesome. Go to a conference where there are a bunch of happy people. You want to be wealthy? Go to a conference where there's a bunch of wealthy people. You want to be a good basketball player? Sell your fucking Xbox. Sell the PlayStation. Sell your car. I sold my car a couple years ago. The car that I was living out of, I sold my car to be able to pay for my auto ships. No bullshit. No bullshit. I sold my Xbox so I could join network marketing. I didn't have the money. This is no lie. I sold my Xbox. I sold my TV. I had a 70-inch plasma screen TV that I had in, in storage. I was homeless, so I had all of my stuff in storage containers. I literally went sold this stuff I got rid of it and the rest is history right so it's the problem is never the problem the problem is how you deal with the problem you need to reverse engineer where your money's going literally sit down get organized most people don't have a financial plan and they wonder why they're broke because they don't know where their, their money's going three dollars here two dollars there seven bucks here fourteen dollars there twenty seven dollars here oh uber ride there oh a pack of cigarettes here it's fascinating to me that people spend six dollars per pack of cigarettes when every pack of cigarettes they could buy a, a, a brand a, a, a used book millions of dollars worth of information in that book you know what albert einstein once said he said um what did he say sheesh all these nuggets it's hard to spew them out sometimes he said the only location that you need to know in your life is the one of a public library you know why most people are broke this is why because if I was offering the new iPhone X the new iPhone 8 downtown if I had a thousand of them you know what let's let's backtrack on that argument you could say well an iPhone, an iPhone is a good investment you could use it for business okay okay okay, okay. Yeezys Balenciagas. Let's say I was going to hand out 
1,000 pair of the new Yeezys downtown. You know how you know how fast a thousand people would show up for a free pair of Yeezys? Too fast. I bet you. I don't bet you. When they come out, the new Xbox, the new PlayStation, the new iPhones, the new pair of Jordans, the new Yeezys, people line up around the block. Around the block. They camp outside for a pair of shoes. People go to football games. They take their shirt off. They paint an S on their chest. They're the 12th man on the field. They sleep outside for concerts for another person's success. But the public library card is free. How many of you watching the video have a library card? I don't know. Library cards are free. People would rather have a pair of Yeezys than a library card. That's why they're broke. Because they spend most of their life investing in the things that aren't producing income. ROI, not giving them value. Look at the value return. Let's not say ROI. ROI is kind of like a, um, it's like a term based around money. Let's look at just the value. What value do you get? When you play Xbox, the average American watches either three hours of TV or video games per day between the ages of 18 to 35. Three hours per day of video games or television. What, what, what value do you get from playing Call of Duty for an hour? From playing online Madden or NBA 2K? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I used to love video games. But it came to a certain point where I said, okay, what is this doing for me? Let me reinvest my money back into my business. Guys, if you treat, if you treat your business like a hobby, it'll pay you like a freaking hobby. If you treat your business like a million dollar business, it'll pay you like a million dollar business. It's just what it is. There's no secrets. People come up to me all the time. What are the secrets? What are the secrets? Do you smoke cigarettes? Yeah. Do you... Well, you have a new pair of Yeezys on. You have a really nice chain on. Well, I just don't have the money for them. Yes, you do. You just don't... When you make the decision to sacrifice and give up the temporary materialistic things, that's when you have the long-term success, the long-term fulfillment. You know what? I sold my Xbox when I needed the money. I invested back into my business when most people go, no, 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 that's my Xbox. I love my Xbox. Well, I love my family. I love my son. I love my legacy. I love my team. I love my family. I love my friends. I, I love my passion. That's what I love. That's what I care about. You know what's funny? People always make time for their priorities. Always. People make time for what's important to them. That's why I might be stepping on some toes, but if somebody doesn't text you or give you a call, oh, dude, sorry, the past couple days I was so busy. No bullshit. If it's important to them, they'll give you a call. They'll send you a 30-second text. If it's important to them, they'll stay awake for another 30 seconds and send you a text. So I hope I'm not hurting any feelings in any relationships or any, any friendships or any business deals, but that's just a fact of the matter. So guess what? I can now buy a million Xboxes. I can go buy as many Xboxes as I want because I decided to sacrifice my Xbox. Guess what? If you don't sacrifice what you love, ultimately, what you love will be the sacrifice. So stop bullshitting yourself. The only thing holding you back from being successful is the bullshit lies that you keep telling yourself as to why you can't be, right? That's the only difference. The difference between successful and unsuccessful people is nothing crazy. It's just the little disciplines. Be disciplined. That's one of the biggest keys to success. Be disciplined in your spending, in the way you invest your money. Every dollar spent is an investment. I hate when people say, I wasted my time. That was a waste of money. No, you invested your money. It was either a bad investment or a good investment. You didn't waste any money. You didn't waste any time. Oh, well, that relationship was a waste of time. No, it was an investment. And if you look at things as losses, it's always going to be a loss. Always look at things as a learning lesson. Learning lesson. So if you make a bad investment, it wasn't a loss. I've taken plenty of losses, L's, but they were never losses. They were just expensive learning lessons. That's what they were. That's the way you got to look at life, right? So organize yourself. Be self-aware. Sit down. Create a financial plan. I guarantee you, if you sit down and you cut out some of the crappy expenses, some of the the things that you don't need, I promise you, you'll figure out you have so much more money. And uh, that's why I just don't I just don't work with people who make excuses. I don't because there's people out there who who deserve my time and your time too. Your time is the most valuable thing that you have. But I'm telling you, look at your auto ships. Everybody has these subscriptions in life. 
your sushi subscriptions, your cigarette subscriptions. How much money is your cigarette subscription costing you? The average pack of cigarettes, Mike, how much are they? What, $6, $7? $7. Yeah, like seven. I know people who smoke a pack of cigarettes every two days. There's 30 days per month. So seven times 15, right? So cigarette, I'm just being real. Some people smoke a pack of cigarettes every day. That's a hundred bucks per month, right? On cigarettes times 12. There you go. There you go. There you go. $1,200 per year on cigarettes. The average person, easy. I know people who smoke a pack a day. More than that. Pack it every two days, three days. You guys are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars per year into something that's literally killing you. Make better financial decisions. So never make the excuse you don't have the money. It's never an excuse. You just have a poor mentality. There's a difference between being broke and being poor. I've been broke as hell. I've been so broke it's not even funny. But poor is a mentality. P-O-O-R. Stands for passing over opportunities repeatedly. Stop doing that. Don't be poor. You can be broke. That's okay. A lot of us have been broke watching this video. If you're like me, if, if, if like us watching the video, we've been broke. We didn't come from money. We weren't trust fund babies. It's fine. Don't be poor. Shift your mindset to spend your money more wisely. All of the most successful people in the world are disciplined in the way they allocate their expenses. Your success is contingent and predicated upon the fact that you spend your money wisely. You invest it in the right places. I'm telling you, it's, it's really that simple. Cut out the bullshit. Stop trying to look so successful and be successful. That's it.